you knocked the hell out of James Vick this weekend in such a ferocious fashion. I mean, you flipped off the cage. You put him to sleep. I mean, how good does it feel right now? Oh, it feels amazing, man. I'm sure you could only imagine. Yeah, I can't only imagine because I can't do what you I'm can sure do. You yeah, only yeah. imagine. You don't know nothing about this. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, hey, hey, we've all been back to the corner, man. It was uh, I had to come out and uh, you know face my fears and go out there and put on the line again, and it was it felt great. Did you have any concern that you killed James Vick, <laughs> Justin? That's the name of the game. Look, man, he was talking a lot of crap. I saw you know in the octagon yeah. afterward, you said that everything he said to you going into that fight, you took personal. He said a lot of nasty things about you. Took a lot of personal shots. Um, you 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 know almost knocked his head clean off. Have you spoken to him since? Has he apologized? Do you think that you guys can have any kind of a, a friendship after this now that you've kind of set him straight, or is that ship sailed? No, I don't think that's necessary. I haven't talked. I, I actually, I saw him at the hotel after. Uh, he was good. Uh, hey, I've been there, man. Uh, it's, it's scary, actually. Uh, I'm sure, you know, he... His brain is there's like a reset button on your forehead. Yeah. It's like someone presses it every 30 seconds. And, uh, you know, it's a scary moment. I've been there and, you know, I felt bad, you know, like right here at the top, I felt bad for him, but then all up in here felt just amazing. Yeah. Mm. So I was good, man. Is it easier than he, he, he talked a lot of Yeah, and, uh, you know, this is, a, this is a painful way to go out. Is it easier to squash beef with somebody after you've knocked them the freak out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, the, he talked about my fighting style and about, you know, um, I didn't have beef. I didn't have beef with him about, you know, I had to go in there and prove a point to him that, you know, this is not a game to me and, you know, I'm going in there. He was not mentally prepared to go through the war. He thought it was going to be easy. You know, there was no way he was getting out of there unscathed. So he either understood what he had to go through and he did not. So, yeah, it was, again, the most terrified night of that man's life. Yeah. And I'm glad it was at my hands. If you like what you just saw, videos, great stories, and crazy photos, we've got more like it every single night on TMZ Sports on FS1.